So we just got back from Target. We did a short weekly grocery haul there instead of going to Wegmans like we used to do. We had such a big Wegmans groceries that we didn't need much. So I just went into Target for a quick grocery haul. I bought some groceries and as well as some non-grocery items. I've been doing a little preschool program at our gym and I do that twice a week. So I got some stuff to use at the gym for them and I will show you that also. But first I'll show you our groceries, what we have. So our first thing we have here is our ham for lunches. We got cheese for lunches, turkey for lunch, and cheese ones. These are for my daughter and these are for my son. She likes ham and provolone. He likes turkey and Munster cheese. We also got four yogurts. My husband usually eats those in the morning before he works out. We got some organic, well I guess they're not organic. Simply balanced, gluten-free, multi-grain with flaxseed brown rice crackers. Because my daughter really doesn't like bread, but she will eat like crackers and cheese and meat. We have some milk. We have blue machine and green machine. We have cheese sticks for the kids' lunches. We have two of these Evo meals. Uh, my daughter likes those for work, so we got her the uncured bacon and macaroni and cheese. Those are her favorite. We got three dozen eggs, spaghetti, alfredo sauce, and spaghetti sauce. I mix these two together, and then I bought an extra alfredo sauce just in case my daughter wants alfredo because that's she loves pasta. Then we got some protein bars for quick morning breakfasts or on the go. We got the Paul Newman's Chicken Florentine. Got two of those for a quick dinner. Chicken nuggets for a quick dinner or lunches. We got some Yo Kids Squeeze uh, Tube Yogurts. So those are good for lunches. And also, I like to have those before I work out. And then we got two loaves of bread one of the multi grain and one of the honey and wheat. The kids tend to like the more of the honey and wheat. I eat the multi grain. So that's our groceries. And now I'm going to show you what I bought that were not grocery. Okay, here is our non-food items that we got from Target. I kind of rated their dollar spot area. They had these lacers. I thought these were perfect for the preschools. Um, they have a whole bunch of different ones. And again, these were only $3, so I got two of those. I got this is for me because I love post-its and they were only a dollar. Then they had a whole bunch of different coloring books. We got Hello Kitty, and How to Train Your Dragon, and Spider-Man, and My Little Pony. I got two Thomas type trains. Uh, one for church, because for some reason we're missing the Thomas at church, so I got another one to replace it. And then one for the gym. So the kids love Thomas. These were really expensive. I didn't realize how expensive Thomas the Train stuff was. But the kids really love it, and it's worth to me for them. This was actually in the dollar spot, and it was only $3. It's a counting puzzle, and it's for large pieces for small hands. So that was an awesome deal there. My son needed body wash. He likes this kind. I got wet wipes for the gym for the kids. Um, after we do projects, they can wipe their hands off. And this was all from the dollar spot. I got this little veteranium bag and these are all the hard cardboard boxes so the, the books so they don't tear as easily and so they had all these little ones here all these books so I thought wow good deal so I got the veteranium bag the explorer bag the beach bag and then we got the littlest duckling the littlest bunny and the littlest bear and these have little finger puppets that the kids can do. They're going to love that. They also have these felt food for tacos and if it had one for I guess it's like a corn tortilla. It's really kind of cool. And then they had one for a flour tortilla. So we got those. That was a great deal. Then I got some boxes of tissues and I got the kind that are for like fall. So I thought those were cute to put around the house. I got a total of four boxes to each. Napkins paper plates and then toilet paper which everybody needs and they were offering this free when you bought one 
24 pack of toilet paper. So I got that free. And the last thing I got is for a project we're going to do with the kids later. It's a, a placemat. The kids can make their own little placemats. So I got that for them. So on Thanksgiving they can take this home and use it at home. So I got that. So this was all our non food items. Um, after I went to Target, I did stop at Barnes and Nobles. Again, they were having a great sale on their books. So this one I saw. This is whose ears are these? And this was $6.95. I have a Barnes and Nobles teacher's card, and so I got that 20% off of that price. Then I saw the next one was whose tail. And this one, I thought, whoa, I mean, this book was only $7.98 reduced. And the original price, I believe, was a lot more than that. I don't see the original price on here. But what a cool book. So it's Doc McStuffins. And it's like fine books. And the kids just love looking for these things. So this is going to be a good time of entertainment. I got Doc McStuffins. And I got Thomas. Because... The boys tend to like the Thomas, and the girls like the Doc McStuffins. So these were all from Barnes and Nobles, and like I said, I had 20% off of all of it. So I actually had five books. I gave one to their foster care book program. So I bought five books, and it only cost me $30. So basically, they went down to almost $6 a piece. Good deal for children's books. Anyway, this is our non-food item. And I will keep you updated on what's going on in our lives, but I thought I would share this haul with you. And as I always say, thanks for watching.